This is a traffic briefing only. I will not answer any questions concerning the event. The chief will hold a later press conference this morning at 730. I wanted to inform everybody of the traffic closures that will begin this morning at 5 o'clock and will last until further notice while we continue to investigate this incident. You will notice beside me the map, everything in yellow will be closed. Uh, we will barricade everything off and assign officers to barricades to assist as much as possible, everybody getting around the detour. The main issues are going to be at the three streets, Elm, Commerce, and Main, that are our normal main thoroughfares, will all be closed from Griffin all the way to Houston. Houston will be open. Griffin will be open. We will divert the commerce traffic the wrong way down Jackson from Houston to Griffin to get people around that are coming off of Riverfront. And Ross Avenue will be open. So everything inside this box will be closed. The north-south streets of Houston and Griffin will remain open. And we will make Jackson Street the eastbound lane through downtown, and then Ross will be open as normal. So I have maps for everybody to take, and the city of Dallas has already posted this on their website as well. I have approximately 40 squad cars out. And how many people in that area normally work down there, and what should the people who do work down there uh, no, this morning. They should just not come downtown at all? Everything inside that box is closed. It is no way in, no way out of that box. So, yes, if your, your place is inside that box, you will not be able to get there until further notice. And you, the city has contacted all the building owners? I do not have that information. What would you tell the drivers, people who work downtown, about the need to maybe not even come downtown? Well, anybody that works anywhere close to that is going to have parking issues because everybody's going to be using up all the ground level lots that can't get to their normal lot. So if you do have to come to work and it's outside of that box, I suggest you come very early to get one of those premium parking places because they're going to be very hard to find. Until the investigation is complete, everything inside that box will be closed to everybody. So that's going to be a big issue for a long term. And as far as uh, DART and other transportation related issues downtown, the police department is coordinating with them? That is correct. The um, station at Pacific and Austin, I believe, that dark station is closed as well. And again, how long do you anticipate? Could this be an all-day event where this part of the city of downtown is closed? Could be, yes. I don't have that information. I don't know. Okay, and I... No, I believe they're going to approach from both sides. They're not letting anybody out in the box, and DART will have their officers manning the rail lines to control the trains. Do you happen to so, know if that area has been cleared, at least some of that area has been cleared as far as explosives are concerned? I don't have the information on that. Could I okay. Name? Yes, Lieutenant Dale, D L E D A L E Bernard, B A R N A R D. Okay, we're hearing. And I do have a map for y'all to pick Lieutenant up Dale here at the Bernard podium. Bernard here from the Dallas Police Department. They have just put out a map here of street closures in downtown. If you work in that area, that yellow area, on that map, you are not going to be able to get in that area. That is closed off to the public today. So if you work in there, you will not be allowed anywhere near there. Police say if you work around that area. They advise you get down here as quickly as possible, as early as possible this morning to get a prime parking space because there's very few, uh, especially if you're in that area, it's going to be very difficult to get around. If you don't have to be in downtown today, police say to stay away.